Hello fellow hunters. Three days ago, Expansive Worlds released a new community survey. They may have just dropped some hints at easier great ones, non-typical antlers, and a customizable new trophy lodge. Are you as excited as me? Let's dive in. Expansive Worlds does these community surveys. They promote this to share our opinions, to help them create a hunting game that we all want to play. And oh my god, there was a lot in this survey. It was one of these surveys prior to a Sunder Britain release that they dropped the name of the Northern Red Munjack as an option for the next great one. And it got the community a buzz since they didn't exist in the game yet. And maybe this was a foreshadowing to the next reserve that we got with Nepal. Maybe there was some foreshadowing with this survey as well. Now, there were some questions that made my spidey senses tingle. We will start with question number 13. What do you think about the rarity of great ones? Now, I know it's a debate in the community which gets even deeper with using herd management to possibly speed up the process, yada yada yada. Some people would argue that they are too easy now, and others would argue that they wish they would be easier to find as they don't grind or do herd management, and would like the opportunity to harvest one of these great ones in their lifetime. It's in my opinion that I want them to stay the same, but I can see the argument for either side. I read a lot of comments on Reddit, Facebook groups, and posts, as well as some other YouTube videos, and a lot of the community outside of the hardcore grinders wishes they would get an opportunity to find a great one in their playtime, so I can see why they would want it to get easier. I think everyone would get a chance at some point to feel excitement of seeing a great one pop up on screen would be an amazing thing to have in this game. I have nine, and I can't describe how awesome it is to get even one. However, I can see why others wish they were harder to achieve. I know a few creators here on YouTube that voice their opinions on herd management as a whole, and that seeing content creators post their great ones every other day has proven that they are too easier already. My argument against that is that there are well over a million Hunter Call to Wild players, and to base how easy they are on a small amount of content creators that have more than 10 great ones each is a bit far-fetched, when probably the majority of the community is lucky to even have one great one, if any at all. A follow-up question to this was question number 14 where it explicitly asked, how do you feel if great ones were significantly easier to be found? So, based on these two questions, and what type of feedback the community give as a whole to the survey, we may be seeing some changes to how easy it is to spawn a great one. What do you think? Question 15 was very interesting, where it asked to please sort the following list of possible in-game rewards based on how valuable they be to you. Some of the answers got me so excited to think about this that I started to think Christmas may come early for old JBiz hunts here. Two of the answers were about trophy lodges. It's been since November of 2019 since we've received a new lodge. Most of us have either filled the lodge or at a point where we need some customization and other upgrades done for the lodges. One option that piqued my interest was the trophy lodge customization. More ways of showing off your harvest. Could you imagine a world where you can sort out your trophies and change the size of the trophy mounts on the wall? Really sort out and set up your lodge to show off your harvest the way that you want? Like really customizing a room that would fit all the latent diamonds? Or a true African room that has the plates for all size animals on Verhunga? Maybe they're even talking about different types of mounts that could be available like skull mounts. I don't think this is a coincidence as question 17 asked to pick three of the top choices from another list of new features and content types we would like to see in the future and there was a new paid trophy lodge, a brand new trophy lodge option. Where there is smoke, there is fire baby and I think the whole community could get behind a new lodge and if they are doing work on lodges then they can finally do some work on how we can place trophies and search them up of what trophies to place. I want to live in a world where if I want to place a melanistic whitetail on the wall I can type or sort of quickly find the trophy rather than scroll down hundreds of taxidermied animals to find that melanistic whitetail I bagged in 2021. I think since we have 15 maps now and have added so much more animals since late 2019 then a new lodge just makes sense at this point. Lastly, in the same question there was an option for non-typical antlers, a chance for antler animals to be non-typical. I of course picked this to be in my top 3 as I've watched some content creators bag some non-typical trophies on Hunter Classic. I think this mechanic can work with the true rack systems or at least make it like a rare fur type that they can spawn in as a non-typical with a variety of racks, even if they look the same, but the rarity of an albino let's say. So essentially the rarest animal in the game would be a rare non-typical animal. I think this could work paired with making the great one a bit easier 
This would give the hardcore community a trophy to go after as their attention would be diverted to a new type of super rare and the non-typical super rare variety. So, did you get out and do the survey yet? If you want your voice to be heard, I would go out there and complete the survey before it's taken down. There's a ton of other content in those questions and it took me roughly 10 to 15 minutes to complete. So, what are your thoughts on great ones? Do you think they should be easier or harder? What about trophy lodges? Is that something we desperately need in the game or are there other areas that you think should be improved first? As for non-typicals, I think this is a no-brainer that everyone would love to see this in the game, but I'm curious, how would you think they should make them work? That's it for this video, fellow hunters. If you like this video, please like, and for future content, please subscribe. And until next time, happy hunting.